Praise the Lord, everybody. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad. And I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into thy house of the Lord. Anybody glad to be here today? Hallelujah. For the Lord is good and he's worthy to be praised. The Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And we come to praise him on the day. Is that all right? We come to praise and magnify the name of the Lord Jesus.
Amen. And so when, when, when the time comes and, 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 and the spirit hit me, amen, I get on there, amen, and teach a little bit. <laughs> Amen. I can do a little bit then, then, then I just holler all the time. Amen. I got some sense every once in a while. <laughs> they know how to act, brother-in-law. <laughs> I do know how to act every once in a while. I just, amen, I just carry it away sometimes when I just think of the goodness of Jesus. That's all right, then. <laughs> but I do know how to act dignified That's sometimes. all right. That's all right. <laughs> Amen. So Tuesday night, amen. Get, get on it and, and, and I learn. Amen. We do believe in teaching. Amen. The Bible, is instru the Bible instructs us to study to show thyself approved, a workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly, abiding the word of truth. Amen. Also, our YouTube page, amen. Our YouTube has, has, has been blowing up. I mean, um, Checking out the numbers on our YouTube, and people are getting on our YouTube. I don't know where they're coming from, amen, but, but people have been watching our YouTube videos, and I, but I just ask that when you watch the video that you would subscribe to Grace Church of God in Christ page. Uh, just hit, hit, hit the um, subscribe button, and that way we know that you, amen, like our page, amen, and also go and Check out our website at www.gracecoaching22 at gmail. Amen. God has been good to us. It, it, it crossed my mind this week while I was at work that if everything was, was normal, that we would be celebrating our Founders Week this month. Amen. And this church would be 45 years old. Amen. Amen. This church will, will be Amen. celebrating this year. Amen. 45 Amen. years of existence and it's still going on. Yes. Amen. The devil thought it had us defeated at one time. Yes. Yes. But God will turn around. Yes. God will turn, your, will turn it into good what the devil meant for bad. Yes. Amen. And so, but Amen. We're going to make up for it next year. We're going to make up for it next year. But, but, but we thank God for um, the, the 45 years that, that Grace Church of God in Christ has been a ministry to, 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 to the people of God that souls have been saved. People have been delivered and set free. Amen. Bodies have been healed. Minds have been transformed from this ministry. Souls have been birthed. Amen. That's just some of the things that a ministry, amen, should be known for. Yes. Amen. And we thank God for the 45 years, amen, that um, Dr. Weatherly has carried this ministry. And I've been here for going on three years. God is still taking us forward. And so, um, if the Lord allow us to see next year, we're going to do it real big. We're going to make up for this time. Amen. And do it in, 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 in next year as well. So, um, we just thank God for what He is doing. Amen. 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 How many of you, God, has really been good to? Folks are talking about 2020 and has been bad to them all. To each his own. Amen. 2020 has not been that bad to me. Amen. It, it just, just, just for the simple fact that if you can 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 say that 2020 has been anything, amen. You're blessed. Amen. Just being on this side of the ground. Just being in a land of the living, having food on your table, amen, a roof over your head, amen. God has been good, yes. amen, in spite of us, amen. I always refer back to the, the three Hebrew boys who then, when they was placed in a fiery furnace, they said, our God is able to deliver, but if he doesn't, he's still God. If he teaches. That's the lesson. 
God is able to deliver. Yes, he is. But if he doesn't, he doesn't. he's still God. Still God. Yes. It doesn't take nothing from God because he don't bring you out. We all want to, we all talk about going to heaven and, and making heaven our home. Well, how else are we going to see heaven if we don't make a transition? God is still God. In the midst of everything, in the midst of this COVID, amen, this, this, this coronavirus, God is still good. Amen. In the, in the midst of despair, in the midst of chaos, God is still good. And he has been good to his people. And for this, we give him praise. For this, we tell him thank you. For this, we worship him. For this, we magnify his name. This we glorify him. Amen. Because he is still God. And there is no other. And we tell him thank you. Amen. At this time, we're going to prepare ourselves for our tithe and for our offering. Those who are viewing on uh, Facebook, we have a cash app. And dollar sign Grace Kojic C O G I C Grace Kojic Amen. And those who would like to use cash now is Grace Kojic Dollar sign Grace Kojic in cash now. If you need an envelope, raise your hand.
I've asked my daughter to sing a song for me. After she come, it was this song. We want to go into our scripture text.
Amen. You're not in this thing alone. God's not going to let it last too long. You can make it. Amen. That song was to everybody that's going through something. That you can make it. That you can make it. Sister Myrtle, you can make it. I don't care what you're going through. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. You can make it.
of despair. Amen. Amen. We can come to church every Sunday and jump and run, but That's if you right. have not been ministered to, come on. Amen. If you have not been ministered to, amen. Ministry is supposed to bring about a change. Yes, yes. So we talk about that you won't leave the same way that you came when the ministry comes. That's right, that's right. Amen. So thank God for his presence. Hallelujah. I don't know now. Let me try to give you this word. It's first Sunday, and we have our communion. And we partake of our communion. Amen. But I want to make sure I'm, 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 I'm one of those pastors. I, I just don't believe in people coming to church and just doing things because it's the custom. That's right. Amen. But you must understand yes. the significance in communion. Yes. Yes. You must understand that when you take up that bread and drink that little cup of juice, that you know what you're doing. Listen to what the word says here in 1 Corinthians 11, starting at the 23rd verse. For I have received of the Lord yes. that which I also deliver unto you, yes. that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take ye, this is my body, yes. which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Uh -huh. After that same manner also he took the cup. Yes. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. Yes. This do ye as oft or often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the Lord of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if ye would judge ourselves, we shall not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. Understanding the purpose of communion. Uh -huh. Holy communion is an act of worship we engage in every month. Truthfully, we 
should engage in it every Sunday. Because the Bible says that as often as we eat and as we as often. So we can do this as often as we like. But it is an act of worship. It is known as the Lord's Supper. I recall when I was in the Baptist church, we do it during, during our morning service because it's convenient. The saints don't like to come out no more at night. But we used to do have communion at night because it's a supper. We don't have supper at 12 o'clock or at 11 o'clock, but supper are in the evening. So it's the Lord's Supper as well as the Eucharist known in the Catholic Church. A term with the root in the Greek, Eucharistos, which means giving thanks. So every time it's time for communion, we should not be taking communion sad. But it's a time for us to give thanks. That's why I just read that when he took the bread, he broke it and gave thanks. Also, he took the cup and gave thanks. So it's a time to give thanks. Though it's a seemingly simple act where Christians break bread and drink of the cup. Holy communion is an important act. Holy communion is an important act. Therefore, we should seek to understand, especially new converts, why we do it. Because others, because otherwise, our participation become meaningless uh -huh. if you don't understand what you're doing. That's why we try not to let children take it. Because they don't understand. That's right. That's right. Amen. So if you don't have the full understanding uh -huh. of this bread and this cup, you're doing a meaningly, meaningless act. Displeasing to God and detrimental to us as well. That's right. So Today, on this Communion Sunday, I'm going to address three important truths that all of us should be aware of when we come to take Communion. The first is the message that a new covenant was established when Jesus shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. Jesus himself became the sacrifice in the Old Testament covenant which relied on animal sacrifice to provide atonement for sin is no longer necessary. So we no longer need to kill doves and, and pigeons and heifers to make atonement. Why? Because Jesus on the cross of Calvary became the ultimate sacrifice for us. Yes, yes. That all we need to do now is just go before the throne of mercy and just repent of our sins. We no longer have
to, amen, kill, amen, some type of animal Come on. to make sacrifice. That's right. So when Jesus came along, he did away with that. That's why he said, this is the new covenant. Covenant. Which was established. Yes, yes. That Jesus, watch this, that God sealed his agreement of salvation with those who believe Jesus died to set us free. The blood sealed the deal. The blood put a stamp of approval on it. The blood. Amen. So the message is that Jesus said that this is that this is a new covenant. A, a new covenant. Amen. Secondly, the purpose. We need to understand the purpose. It is to remember Jesus' suffering and death as it was mandated by Christ himself. As often as you do this. He says here, and that 26th verse, he says, this cup, I'm sorry, in the 23rd verse, Jesus, after he had received of the Lord, that also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And he gave thanks and break it and said, take eat. Yeah. This is my body, uh -huh. which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Yeah. Every time we take of, amen, take of the bread, it should remind us of Jesus' body, of his suffering, how they whipped him. How they bruised him. How they took a thorn of 70. How they took a, a, a man. Took 72 thorns. And pressed it into his brow. Yes. It should remind us. Of his suffering. Yes. yes. Every time. Lord. You did this for me. Yes. You was with. For me. Your body was broken for me. They went you to the place, to the point that you was unrecognizable. 
the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. So every time we 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 hold that little piece of bread up, Lord, this is your body, which was broken. Yeah. This was your body that was beaten. This is your body yeah. that was spit upon. This is your body. That was shed for me. Thank you. So it is for us to remember. To remember. And once we remember that he went through this for us. He, 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 he went through this for me. You did something that I don't think I could do. He came here with the purpose to die. He came here with the purpose to be made a sacrifice. Yes. So we ought to remember that every time we take that prayer. Lord, it was for me. And we are to proclaim our faith in the efficiency of his death. Yes. And in his return. Lord, as I remember that you died, that you died on that cross, on that old rugged cross, you died for me. Lord, as they hung you on that cross, you didn't do a thing for them to do what they did to you, but you did it for me. And for this, I tell you thank you. For this, I remember Calvary. Yes. For this, I remember what you died for me. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So I tell it everywhere I go that he died for me. Thank you. When I was in my sins, when I held hang up sin and had bad habits and had the king help us. Lord, you did it for me. Yeah. Ah, when I when I wasn't loving myself, Lord, you loved me before I was even in my mother's womb. That you went to Calvary and you died. He died. How you died for me on that old rugged cross. So we proclaim it everywhere that we go. Not only that he died, but he's coming back again. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that he's coming back. Why is he coming back? He's coming back for me. Coming back for you. Yeah.
we need to get a house in order. Play time is out. Why? Wow, because he's coming back. No man knows the hour nor the day. But he's coming back. Yeah. We ought to proclaim it. Not only are we to proclaim, but we ought to fellowship in the body of Christ. And the sense of reinforcing fellowship among each other in the church. We've gotten away from fellowshipping. Before, I know that we can't do much now because of the pandemic and because of social distancing, but Fellowship has long, has long left the church. Amen. And it has been replaced with cliques. Well. Amen. I, I, amen. I know I'm not talking to Grace because, amen, we don't play that. I, amen. I don't play all of that clique stuff. But because of Jesus, we need to get back to fellowship. Yeah. Amen. We ought to get back to, amen, fellowshipping and breaking the bread. Why? Because it says in the book of Acts that they continue on the day of Pentecost after they were filled with the Holy Ghost. They continue in prayer from where? House to house and breaking a bread. You come to my house today. I'm going to supply the meal. We go to your house next week. You supply the meal. We go to Sister Church house the following week. She provides it. They continue in prayer. Yeah. Continue in fellowship. We're breaking a prayer. This day and time we love da 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 da. I'll meet them in the fellowship hall. They can't come to my house. I'm the church man. No, I don't want them in my house. They, 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 they talk too much. They, they see my little TV hanging on the wall. They, child, y'all know. Hey man, sister so and so, she got a 70 inch TV. <laughs> she got a giant. She got a crystal chandelier. Amen. She got plush carpet. Come out. Instead of fellowship, if you want to come out talking. But we have to get back to fellowshipping. Communion is supposed to bring us back to fellowship. And when they had communion, they went out until the mountain singing hymns. They went out fellowshipping. They went out together. So we need to get back to fellowshipping. Yes. Third, and my final point, the order that we must not take part in this manner unworthily of Christ's suffering. We used to sing the song before we take communion and we have the prayer of examination. Yes. Search me, Lord. Shine a light from heaven on my soul. On my soul. If you find anything, anything, if you find any bitterness, if you find any hatred, if you find any disobedience, if you find any strife, if you find any wickedness, 
If you find any bitterness, take it out straight in me. For I want to be right. I want to be saved. I want to be whole. We got to get back to the place that week before we take communion. Yes. We got to pray, Lord, examine me. Yes. I know I haven't been right all week long. There's some things that I've done that I forgot about. There's some things that I said that I forgot that I said. But Lord, if you take the time to examine me, yes. I know that you'll shine the light from heaven. You'll go down deep inside of me. You will pull up the things that I forgot that I did. The things that I forgot that I said. You will shine the light from heaven down on my soul. Why? Because I want to be right. I want to be right when I take communion. I want to be right when I take up your body. I want to be right when I drink of your blood. So Lord, make me right. Lord, shine the light from heaven. Shine it on my soul. Take out anything that's not like you. Take it out. Lord, remove it from me. Take it out of my heart. Take it out of my spirit. Pull it out of my mind. I want to be right. I want to be right when I take of you. I don't want to take it up worthily. I don't want to do that to my soul but I want to be right yes Lord so we got to be right when we take off his body each of us should put himself to the test as to the attitude of his heart outwardly the outward conditions that we do the inward stuff a lot of times people only focus on the outward things that we do but the inward things that we do are just as bad as the outward stuff they'll remember that you told a lie but forget about how evil you were They'll remember what you stole, but forget about how mean you are. So we got to pray, Lord, take it out, take it out, take it out, out. whatever it is, take it out of me. If there's meanness, take it out of me. If there's bitterness, take it out of me. If there's disobedience,
who doesn't know Jesus and have fallen away sins. Communion don't mean anything if you're not saved. It don't mean nothing if you have not accepted him as your Lord and your Savior. It don't mean nothing. It don't mean anything. If you have not confessed from your mouth and believe in your heart that that same Jesus who was on the cross died. Not only did he die, but he was buried. Not only was he buried, but he rose again with all power in his hands. Is there one? He said, I want to be right. I want to be right when I come to take you in. I want to, I want to know him. I want to know him in the power of his resurrection and in the fellowship of his suffering. I want to know him for myself so that when I do take it, it means something for me. I know what I'm doing. I, I know what I'm doing. I, I understand the significance of it. Is there one? Is there one? Is there one who want to join the church? Looking for a church home. Looking for a church home. We open the doors of our church. Is there one?
Amen. This time we're preparing ourselves for our, our communion. Oh, search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Shine a light from heaven.
that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest, what I set ye forth when I come. Thank you. 